Good day everybody, this is Jay Garcia with TDG Innovations here to talk about ext.apply in this screencast number three. Uh, if you are unfamiliar with ext.apply, essentially it's a utility method that allows one to copy an entire essence of an object that includes the all properties, all methods over to another object with relative ease and it really simplifies your life when you're looking to apply, let's say, even defaults to a configuration object or something like that. So for argument's sake, we're going to have two objects. This would be object number one, and he has two two properties. We have uh, property number X and property number Y, and we have object number two, which would be the destination object, and he actually will have, let's say, three properties, A, B, and C. Again, our goal is to copy over the object 1, x and y properties. Now, one could imagine that this, this could you know, exponentially get greater. Or, so we're going to keep this really simple. So you could easily do this, again, with these two guys, just by saying obj2.x equals obj1.x. So you could create a reference and, OK, life would be grand. You'd get the job done but that would be a pain in the butt if you had, let's say, 30, 40. Uh, not to mention it's not really clean because if object, uh, object number one were to grow, you would have to write more lines of code to keep that in line, and it can get to be a real hair mess. This is where ext.apply really comes into play. So let's go ahead and jump into ext.apply. We're actually going to use Firebug as our tool of choice again, and we're going to have to create our X object, so we're going to go do that, so var x equals, and we're going to open up our brackets, and, oops, excuse me, var obj1, and we're going to say x property is going to be a string, so just to make it identifiable, and likewise we have the y property of y string. Okay, we'll go ahead and do that, and we're going to say obj2 equals, and we're going to create him, we're going to say a equals a string, and b will be some numeric value, oops, and the C will be a function. Okay, cool. Now, if we looked at the way we constructed object number one with uh, two methods, and we move forward and we looked at we can, the way we constructed object number two, we can see that object number two has no X and Y properties. So we're going to go ahead and, and do that using exe.apply. So it's really simple. Um, we're going to store it to a new object. We're going to store the output of ext.apply for simplicity's sake. Uh, we're going to say var obj3 equals ext.apply. And ext.apply actually takes three parameters. So we're going to throw it in new lines for ease of re readability in a small screen. Uh, the first is going to be the destination object, so that's going to be obj2. Uh, the second one will be, uh, will be the source object, so object1. Remember, object1 contained the x and y parameters that we wanted to copy over. So, where were we? There we go. Okay, and it actually will take a third parameter of an object which could contain, uh, let's say, another property. So I'm going to say p, x, y, z, um, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now, this third object will actually be considered a default. So if obj1 had p, x, y, z, or obj2 had p, p, x, y, z, they would get overridden, essentially. So we're going to go ahead and close this off and execute. And we're going to look at obj3 in Firebug. And we should see the magic happen there. Bingo. So obj3 has the essence of the first, or excuse me, of the, the obj2, which had the a, b, and C uh, properties and methods and we have X and Y from the obj1 and we now have the default of PXYZ so this essentially is how you use ext.apply um, it can be really really cool so let's say if you wanted to I don't know override um, A you can use a default to do that so we're going to say uh, var obj4 equals ext.apply. Again, we're just going to save the output just for readability purposes. Um, obj3 will be our destination. Obj2 will be our source. And we're going to put a default of, uh, let's say, the A 
um, property, I'm just going to put a really long, ugly looking string. And we're going to run this, and we're going to look at obj4 with firebug, and lo and behold, we see the override had occurred. Oh, that's why I don't like firebug sometimes. See, he tells the truth here, but when you click on it, he tells you a different story. But essentially, if, if I actually do obj4 tut a, um, we'll see the difference. So uh, that happens to be a bug within Firebug, so please bear with me. Um, it did apply. Um, and actually, if we did obj3.a, we should probably see the same thing. There we go. And again, that was mainly because of the destination parameter, which is here. Um, so that's how you use ext.apply. Um, you don't necessarily need to store the output of ext.apply in an object. This will do the same thing. So if I actually type in, let's say, um, I love ext as an override for a, and I actually run this, you'll see right away that it appears. And I'm going to go ahead and clear this output so we can actually look at it. And instead of really trusting Firebug's exploration or explorer style um, interface, I'm just going to type in obj3.a, and bingo, we see I love ext. So uh, I hope this helps you understand the uh, ext.apply a little bit more. Um, I encourage everybody, if you are an ext user, please go to ext.js.com and purchase a license. Uh, also, if you have any questions or would like to see more screencasts, you can go to tdgi.com, which is the address down here. Um, and uh, I'll be happy to communicate. If you have any questions, we have a contact us section. So if you have any questions, you can be more than happy to either post in the YouTube or our blog um, comment section. So take care. Thank you very much.